How's it going? Welcome back. What you were just listening to was me playing through my Multivox MX312 Multi Echo. It's a tape echo machine. It's a clone of the famous Roland Space Echo. And this video is gonna be a little bit different from the ones I've been doing so far. I'm not writing a song or anything. We are going to be comparing four delay pedals and seeing if they can do this one specific thing that I believe the Multivox can do really well and I haven't heard anything else do it quite the same way. It's that kind of ambient wash that happens when the echoes start to almost oscillate but not quite and it forms this kind of bed of echo and distortion and it kind of just blends together into this beautiful wash that does not overwhelm my playing. So I think that's really special and I've got a bunch of delay pedals that are all really nice in their own right and we're gonna see if they can emulate the Multivox. So really quick before we get into it, I want to announce the winners of my Instagram giveaway. Thank you to everyone who participated. The winners are Sam Tronica. You are winning the Nobles ODR-1 Overdrive, which is featured in another one of my videos. Check that out. And LPR Records. You are winning the TC Electronic Hall of Fame Mini. So yeah, subscribe if you would like to be part of any future giveaways. All right, let's get into the comparison. We are comparing these four delay pedals. I've got the Deluxe Memory Man, the Cal and Bread Bell Epoch, the Boss DD200, and the Jam Pedals Delay Llama Extreme. I've set them up so that they closely emulate that ambient wash sound that I like so much in the multi-echo. My signal chain is guitar into pedals, into the simplifier here, and the simplifier has the eventide micro pitch delay in the effects loop, and we're just gonna use that to do a cool stereo double track effect just for fun. Here is my clean tone. I have the Topanga for some reverb. Here's the effect with the micro pitch on. So first of all, let's hear the multi-echo again really quick. Okay, so as you can hear, that trail just kind of continues for a long time, but it doesn't start to feed back. So that's what we're going for. So first up, let's hear the Cattle and Bread Bell Epoch. My issue with the Bell Epoch is that it does that washy thing, but it's very finicky with the controls. The record level is either too distorted or not distorted enough. The mix is either too quiet or too loud, in my opinion. I think it sounds good, and I like it a lot because it has the preamp from the EP3 in it. Now, that's another thing to remember is that this isn't trying to be the Multivox Tape Echo. It's trying to be the... Echoplex EP3. So maybe that's exactly what an Echoplex sounds like. I don't know because I don't own one. Uh, let's hear it again really quick with the micro pitch. All right, next up we've got the Boss DD200 and it's on its tape echo mode, so let's check it out.
right off the bat, you can hear that it can do that ambient wash really well. It sounds beautiful. My only qualm about this pedal is that it doesn't have the overdrive. You can't overdrive the preamp like the Multi Echo or the Bell Epoch. So I'm editing right now and I just looked it up and it turns out you can overdrive the Boss DD200. Well, not exactly. You can introduce overdrive into the echo sound by using the parameter button. So you can't overdrive it like a preamp, but you can add distortion. So that's another feature, my mistake. Here's a quick clip of me playing with that distorted echo sound. Okay, next up, we are talking about the first analog delay pedal, the Jam Pedals Delay Llama Extreme. I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking, but this one sounds like tape to me. This one sounds like the multi-echo. Let's go to the multi-echo really quick. Uh, let's just hear it through the micro pitch really quick. Yeah, I really like how that one distorts. Now, finally, the Deluxe Memory Man. And so these two are both analog delays, but they sound quite different. So here is the Deluxe Memory Man. So that one doesn't it doesn't have trails like the others, but I mean, I think you can hear why so many people like this pedal. That sounds damn good. Uh, and it does do that ambient wash. It's very dark and clearer than than the Dalai Lama. That lends itself super well to ambient stuff. So let's let's just hear it with the micro pitch here. I mean, yeah, that's that's just gorgeous. Uh, this one remains my favorite delay pedal uh, other than the multi-echo, which is not a pedal. And now the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's hear all of the pedals together at once. <laughs> 